Hi, I'm Derek, your CFI for this flight. This is Ash, your pilot. And here we have the Horizontal Situation Indicator, or HSI. Now you're going to notice that it looks kind of like a DG and a VOR put together, and that's basically what it is. Now you notice there's a nav flag and a heading flag. We expect that because we have the power off, and we would want those to be flagged in case there was a failure. Now you notice the orange heading bug here, and we control that with this knob down to the right. Give that knob a twist and you can move that to whatever heading you desire. And you can notice that the shape corresponds with the shape of the heading bug, which makes it pretty easy. On the left side, we can tune an OBS course for whatever's in nav 1, or the GPS. This button up here, if we press that, we can switch from GPS to nav mode. Now we're going to turn the power on. So right now, it's on nav mode. If you give that button a press, now we're on GPS mode. Now we're back to nav mode. So if I tune this to the VOR, we'll put Barnes in here. Now notice our flags have gone away, and uh, I'll just have Ash turn the course here. Really picks it up. Okay, now if we turn the OBS, notice it's off to the left hand side here. Now I'm going to turn it around so that we get up to. Notice it's also still on the left side. This is important. You'll never be reverse sense with the HSI, which is a nice feature compared to a VOR. You just see this little white flag will flip and tell you whether it's a from or a to. But the course always remains on the correct side. Another thing we want to notice is over here we have this switch. It has slave mode which right now the compass says 060 and the DG says 060. Notice this white line on the top which indicates our course, or our heading I should say, the aircraft's heading. Now if I go and switch this to free mode, so I pull this out and turn it to the right, now this knob here, if I press it left, it turns the DG to the left, and if I press it right, it turns it to the right. Now you're setting it manually and it'll hold that, whatever you set it for, just like a normal directional gyro. Now right now it's on 080, which is obviously incorrect, but if I was to set it to 060, it would hold 060, and if you changed our heading, it would change accordingly. Now if I switch this back, I go to this top switch and I pull it back to the left. Now you'll see it's automatically tracking back to 060, and it matches the magnetic compass. So just a quick recap, it's like a VOR and a DG put together, we have a heading bug controlled by the right knob, we have an OBS course controlled by the left knob, which will never be reverse sense, and it gives you the indication to from here, and this is your course left or right. If we were on an ILS, we would have a glide slope up and down here. There's two yellow uh, indicators that move up and down on either side of this for your glide slope. You can switch this from Nav 1 oops, nav one or GPS by pressing that button. And now, since I have it on GPS, it'll track the GPS as opposed to Nav. And the other thing to remember is there's two modes to set this. You can have it on free mode or you can have it on slave. Free mode is just a manual adjustment.
while it's moving, you'll see the heading flag. So I hope that makes the horizontal situation indicator. Easy to use. Thanks for tuning in today.